we're going to make chocolate chip cake balls. So let's get started. First of all, what I did was I actually have a recipe on my channel for chocolate chip uh, caramel cupcakes. And what I did was I took 24 of my cupcakes, broke them up into a bowl. As you can see, the chocolate chips and pieces of the caramel that was melted in there. And I just put it in a bowl. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put about a quarter of a cup of chopped uh, peanuts. Now you could use whatever type of nut that you want. And I'm just going to put that in the um, cooked cake here, or baked cake, and just mix it up with a spoon. Okay? The next thing I'm going to do is, all you have to do is, if you want to save time, just get a container of a 16 ounce of your favorite uh, frosting, whatever it is. This is actually a dark chocolate that I'm putting in. And put that uh, container into your bowl. I want to get that all out of there. And then actually start combining your frosting and your cake together. Now if you don't want to, of course, uh, destroy 24 cupcakes, you can actually just make a box cake, follow the directions on the back, and, um, and then just break that up with your hands and put it in a bowl. Okay. I'm going to show you what that looks like in just a second. And there we go. Okay, so we have, which is uh, chocolate chips, nuts, and caramel cake. And I put in a dark chocolate frosting. And then the next thing you're going to do is actually just roll a ball of cake together and then I went ahead and melted actually um, uh, chocolate, milk chocolate that has, it's a crispy chocolate and then I'm just going to pour chocolate over them and then I'm just going to sit them on a piece of um, wax paper, or if you have parchment paper, and allow those to cool. And we'll do another one. Just make a ball. You can actually dip your chocolate, I mean your uh, ball, I'm sorry, uh, in, into the chocolate. And then just set it down onto your wax paper till it dries and it hardens. Once it does, they'll come out and they will look like this. And all I did was after um, I dipped them in the chocolate, I actually sprinkled some colored sprinkles on the top. that will stick to it. You could sprinkle nuts on top or whatever, but there you have your own homemade cake balls. Chocolate chip, caramel, and nuts cake balls covered with crispy milk chocolate. Give this one a try. Hope you like this one. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.